to uh, bore you. I know, I know Billy is the main event, but I just, um, I wanted to talk about why we were so excited to uh, do this. Welcome to Verizon's Pay It Forward Live <laughs> Earth Day edition. Uh, this is a weekly live stream from home. As you can see, we're in m my home today. Uh, uh, to support small businesses. We are encouraging viewers to support their favorite local businesses during this tough time. Today, we're giving extra focus to green and sustainable businesses. Um, I guess, to me, again, tying this back to Earth Day, like, the things that are sustainable are the things that are the most important in life because they're the things that are going to carry <laughs> us forward and lead to a brighter future. And um, You can buy gift cards, order to go, or send them payments online at verizon.com slash payitforwardlive. And throughout our performance, use the hashtag PayItForwardLive to share the local businesses you're supporting, which is pretty cool because it means if you donate to a business and you post that on Instagram and you hashtag it, it'll come up in this whole feed and then other people will see the business that you love personally and it'll uh, you know, give them incentive to donate to that too. Our mom made these as, um, what's the word? Cue cards. Cue cards. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to look up there and like say and memorize them, but... Phineas just went this way. Well, I think it's... I, usually you can tell when somebody's eye line is, is, is moving throughout a cue card, even if it's looking sort of vaguely at the camera. So I figured I'd just read them. Um, we wanted to start this off by talking about two businesses that we really care about. One of them is a food truck called Plant, Plant Food for People that we Billy grew and up, I grew up eating love. Food tacos. It's a taco food <laughs> truck in L.A. L.A. has an incredible food truck scene, and right now, obviously, everybody is struggling, and food trucks are struggling especially. And we just wanted to shout them out mm -hmm. and um, encourage donations to them because they're amazing. And if you live in the Los Angeles area or the greater Los Angeles area and you haven't had to plant food for people, you got to go give it a try. It's so good. The second business we wanted to talk about is a business called Yoga Ert. Yes. Do you want to fill them in on Yoga Ert? You're an Ert. expert. Yoga Ert is like a, a sort of a vegan frozen yogurt ice cream shop that's in like Glendale. Is it There's a couple locations it's, now. Yeah, it's Glendale and then we have like Echo Park, I think. Um, and it's, I love it so much. They They always have this like hot 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 very beautiful hot fudge every time i get it I just it's so delicious they're amazing and they're always they've they've been like doing um lately obviously because we can't go in anywhere if you call 15 minutes ahead you can just order stuff and they'll bring it to your car with masks and gloves and everything it's very um, safe which is they're, great they're working hard over there so we want to support them and in terms of um these two businesses being categorized as green sustainable they're both plant-based vegan, which obviously is just, goes without saying, more sustainable. Um, but the main reason we're here, and the main reason we have a platform at all, is because we, we, we sing some music songs, and so we're going to start off with some songs. What would you like to start off with? I, I believe it says, all the good girls go to hell. You heard it <laughs> here first. <clears throat> now, as much as people want to believe that this song is about me being a... a devil worshiper and being Satan. It's not about that. It's about global warming and we wrote this song like three years ago, so. From the perspective of the Lord. No, but. Um, Is it not? I we just don't need to make a statement because I don't need people coming for me, but <laughs> I'm just saying that the, the world is really important. This song is under all the, like the deeper meaning of the song is about global warming and um, climate strike and and what's really important and how we are the reason that the world will oh and and we're also the reason that the world could mom please. our mom is sitting on the creakiest floorboard in my studio but anyway um yeah this song is about the world and trying to save it and um people not believing that it needs to be saved which people don't believe somehow so i i don't know how so this is this is um all the good girls go to hell <clears throat> All the good girls go to hell Cause even God herself Has enemies And once the water starts to rise And heaven's out of sight She'll want the devil on her team. 
standing there, killing time. I can't commit to anything but a crime. Peter's on vacation, an open invitation. Animals, evidence, pearly gates look more like a picket fence. Once you get inside them, got friends but can't invite them. Hills burn in California. My turn to ignore ya. Don't say I didn't warn ya. Oh, the good girls that go to hell. Cause even God herself has enemies. And once the water starts to rise, and heaven's out of sight. She want the devil on her team. Look at you, needing me. You know I'm not your friend without some greenery. Walking, wearing fetters. Peter should know better. Your cover up is caving in. Man, is such a fool. Why are we saving him? Poisoning themselves now. Begging for our help. Wow. Hills burn in California. My turn to ignore ya. Don't say I didn't warn ya. All the good girls go to hell. Cause even God is so. Has enemies. And once the water starts to rise, and heaven's out of sight. Then we have um, one of my favorites, <laughs> um, a song called Elo Milo, that um, um, is, is kind of about losing somebody or being afraid to lose somebody and um, having it kind of be in a, inevitable. Um, I don't know, the, the feeling of, even when you lose anything, when you lose like your keys or your phone or anything, <laughs> it, it feels horrible That's and it true. feels terrifying. <laughs> Um, and especially when you lose a person, um, it's a horrible feeling. So this song, song is about just being afraid to lose somebody and it happening anyway. I think it's, there's elements of this song also that are about like the way it feels or the way it felt to us to be like little kids and how like sometimes when you're a little kid, like the world just seems so big yeah. and so confusing and strange. Totally. And so I think it's just about that kind of like feeling of like not really knowing what's going to happen. Yeah, I would also say um, my mom, every time we talk about this song, mom's always saying that it feels like being a parent to her. Mm. The lyrics feel like when, you know, it's, I, I'm sure it's terrifying to be a parent. You know, I have a new dog and it's so scary that I'm just like every second I'm like, want to, you know, you want to protect them and you want to make sure that they're safe. But then at the same time, you want them to, <laughs> I'm not just talking about dogs, I'm talking about people and kids and relationships. Um, but yeah, this is Ilomilo. <clears throat> Where did you go? I 
this next portion of the uh, live stream to call a place called Revolution Dance Center. Yes, which, which is... we both grew up dancing at. And um, that's this was like my home for many years. Um, and this was like our, my whole life at one point and his too at one point. Um, and right now they're really struggling because... Hey, what? <laughs> Hold on. Okay. So our our mom has them standing by. Yeah. Um, which is the the beauty of having a mom. She's always got our back. Um, yeah. This was a place that we spent like like upwards of like ten hours a week at. Yeah. Each week uh, for the teen years of our lives, and um, we just wanted to check in with them. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. We love Daryl. Here, should we like hold it like that or something? Hello, Daryl. It's Billy. Hello, girl. And Phineas. Oh, what's good? <laughs> so we just we just wanted to check in. We're we're on uh, the Verizon Pay It Forward Live right now, and uh, we just wanted to hear how you guys are doing. I know this is a really hard time for everybody. How's this impacting you guys? Uh, pretty severely. You know, we're you know we're, we close on March thirteenth. Mm-hmm. So out of safety we, for all of the kids. Out of safety for the kids for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's a bad thing to do for sure, but. You know, in doing that, it's, you know, we're definitely taking a toll. Mm -hmm. You know, about 255 kids already since April 1st. Crazy. Um, We had to credit everybody back for half tuition of March, so we lost half of our income for March. Terrible. We still have to pay full expenses, uh, all to all rent for March. Mm -hmm. Um, Lost a lot of kids and then uh, had to pay full rent for April, but down 255 kids. And also, they used half of that credit for March towards April, so we lost half tuition for April already, but had to pay all rent, so that's a huge toll. But So crazy. We are, we are paying our staff. Wow. 100%. I can't believe that's amazing. <laughs> that's so crazy. Yeah, so we're doing what we can to pay them. We're not taking, we haven't taken a penny away from them. Wow. So, so in, ter- in turn, that, you know, we're taking a big hit for it. Mm, sure, uh, yes. Understandable. But, but I want to be able to, you know, my st- take care of my staff as much as I can. Of course, yeah. We, you know, we applied for the for the uh, the SBA loans. Yes. We got denied because they ran out of money. Wow! Wow! They've already run out of money. Already run out of money. So crazy. Just, uh, hopefully, they're going to try to get some more money, and if, if so, maybe we'll get something the second go around. But we'll have to see and mm-hmm. find out what's up with that. So I don't know. Well, just day by day, man. 
your crazy. studio is so important to me and Billy, and obviously to all of the kids that uh, go there. Is there is there any way that uh, people who understand the situation you guys are in could help out in any way? Well, you know, as far as some of our families have been very sweet. The ones who can can stay on board have, have stayed on board, so that mm-hmm. actually helps just because, wow. you know, they're, they're taking the virtual classes with us, which mm-hmm. is amazing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we had some parents that wanted to donate to other parents who have lost their jobs mm-hmm. and can't dance anymore and mm-hmm. are having a hard time paying who want to stay on dance company. So they've actually made some donations to our studio. That's great. Which is great. Um, but... Uh, Really, I mean, the main thing is just, you know, we, we've had some people do donations. And, that's uh-huh. what we, we tell them. And, and a lot of them are doing it anonymously. We have no idea who they are. That's amazing. Super cool. Well, um, um, and, uh, yeah, it's awesome. Can we see Julie Kay? Yeah, is there a way we could talk to Ms. Julie Kay? Is that possible? Yeah, I know she's in the middle of a Zoom meeting, but. Well, she, and she, you know, funny thing, she's actually talking to all of our dance family, our JKDC kids right now. All right, let me hand it back over to Billy for a second for this moment. Yeah, so I, you know. Do you know I'm on a, a massive phone call right now? Do you? Do you know I'm on a massive phone call? Oh my god! <laughs> what? Show the camera. Julie Carey, look, we're okay. So we're doing we're doing a live stream right now for um, small businesses and trying to just kind of bring awareness. That ah, <laughs> he looks so good. Hi guys, hi Zayda. Uh, hi. Oh my god, all the teachers. Okay, we're gonna have to wait. Okay. I miss you guys so much. I love you, but we wanted to bring awareness to Revolution Dance Center because I know right now it's really hard for you guys, and I can't imagine how it's feeling for you. So, um, yeah, we wanted to. This is a live stream of like tons of thousands of it's people a Verizon, watching. Uh, pay it forward live, uh, and we're, we we love you guys. We just wanted to check in. You know what? I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for caring about us. You know, it's it's been really, really tough, but our spirits are high. And more than anything, dance is, is um, our avenue to everything. And it's fully my addiction. And I'll do everything I can to make sure it's okay. <laughs> love. I love you guys. It's our home, right? It's where, it's where we're I at. know. Well, it was our home. It was our home for our we were, entire you know, the, life. The age we could attend. Yeah. <laughs> So we love you, Julie K. We love, um, hey kids, what's good? Miss you guys. <laughs> it's okay. And we got mom in the corner. Mama, love you. I love you. But we love you, and we um, we hope the best for you guys. You're the best, and we love you. I love you, so you, you, love you, know, I love you too, Xavier. We're your, we're your biggest fans. Ah, shut up. Love you guys so much. <laughs> Bye. Love you. Love. They're the best. Do you want to talk? I don't. I'm sure a lot of people know, but do you want to talk about like how that place ties into our music? Sure. Let's tell the classic story, the, the classic. Oceanite story. So, so, um, yeah. So that dance studio, Revolution Dance Center, right here. <laughs> Stop. Um, basically, I. We both grew up as dancers, but I, like, got into the company, and it was, like, a whole thing. It was, like, I did competitions, and it was, like, a whole... It was my whole life was dance. Um, and we had a teacher named Fred, who's still... A teacher uh, there? Is a teacher there, um, and he's amazing, and he he knew that me and Phineas, like, made music or whatever. And mm-hmm. we were, I was 13 years old, and he asked me um, if we could make a song it's so crazy now that like i haven't told this story in a while for a while every time i told the story i was like oh the same old yeah blah blah blah. but now i'm really like it's wow it's so crazy that it started like that he asked us to make a song just to choreograph a dance to so we could do it for the end of your recital and i was like cool what do you want it to sound like and he was like i don't know whatever you want just you know kind of alternative and whatever and um like the next day we had this this song called ocean eyes that we Phineas had written and I it just was like like totally was exactly what came we came together to do. came together so fast and we we recorded it in like two days and finished it and I was 13 and he was 17 18, 18 yeah 18 and um we put it out on like a Wednesday night in the middle of, and we didn't and even, only on SoundCloud we only we didn't even mean to put it out really we just like we're like hey, this is an easy way to send him a link why don't we just put it out on SoundCloud and um, we sent him the link, and he was like, great. And, and then it, it became huge. And then 
here we are. <laughs> so <laughs> that dance studio really kind of deserves all the credit for the beginning of this um, journey. career journey. Yeah. So um, we, we love them a lot. They're amazing. They, they, they changed both of our lives, I think. So anyway, we're supposed to sing again. Yeah. We're oh, gonna, oh we're gonna sing Phineas some is going to sing by himself. And Billy gets to take like a... a and I'm going to take a little break. He's going to sing two songs and then I'm going to come back and sing two songs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is a song of mine called Let's Fall in Love for the Night. Let's fall in love for the night and forget in the morning Play me a song that you like, you can bet on every line Cause I'm the boy that your boy hoped that you would avoid Don't waste your eyes on jealous guys, stop that noise I know better than to call you mine you need to pick me up Well, I'll be there in 25 I like to push my luck So take my hand, let's take a drive Cause I've been living in the future Hoping I might see you sooner I want you riding shotgun I knew when I got one right Let's fall in love for the night and forget in the morning Play me a song that you like, you can bet I'll know every line Cause I'm the boy that you boy, hope that you would avoid Don't waste your eyes on jealous guys, stop that noise I know better than to call you mine I love it when we talk that nerdy, nerdy We're in our 20s talking 30, 30 We're making money but we're saving it Cause talk is way too cheap and we talk a lot of it You won't stay with me, I know But you can have your way with me till you go And if all your kisses turn into bruises, I'm a warning Let's fall in love for the night and forget in the morning Play me a song that you like, you can bet I'll know every line Cause I'm the boy that you boy hoped that you would avoid don't waste your eyes on jealous guys Stop all of that noise Cause I know better I know better I know better than to ever, ever My sister's in the corner clapping, which yes. is really nice. She's saying the extra, n n the, the parts that are instead of the expletives in that song. Um, I'm gonna sing a song that I would like to dedicate to all of my friends who I have not seen since the lockdown. <laughs> I don't miss you at all. I swear I don't miss you at all. <laughs> and I barely still remember Who's in the pictures on my walls? No, I can't recall your scent. Jasmine Tuberose <laughs> <laughs> Lily. Oh, your silly French accent. Oh, but forgotten about those eyes. The shade of green that if he'd seen would make F. Scott Fitzgerald cry. But I won't break down at 2 a.m. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just sitting here. Sorry, sorry. Because I don't miss you at all. 
I know that my face has turned bright red, too, <laughs> because that's what happens when I'm trying uh, not to laugh during things. And I'm sleeping fine. I don't mean to boast, but I've only dreamt about you once or twice per night at most, and it feels really good. Eating alone, I don't get distracted by your smile. And miss the green lights driving home, there's no sign of stopping. The house isn't very far, but I think our song is coming on. And now I want to crash the car. But I won't make that mistake again and fall. So I say that I don't miss you at all. And maybe someday I won't miss you at all. All right. Yeah. Come back in, Babushka. Ooh! Do you wanna do you wanna tell him what's next? Ooh! I got something in my eye. <laughs> Maggie talks about support and feed. So before our mom comes in and explains it, um, our mom is is a, as as a lot of moms are a real a real giver, <laughs> For and sure. when uh, this whole pandemic thing started <laughs> uh all our mom could think about was everybody else she was thinking about the hospital workers and the first responders and all the essential workers and she was thinking about all of the staffs and all of the restaurants that have had to close their doors and are no longer making any money because of this and she wanted to figure out a way to help both groups at the same time and she started an initiative called support and feed where you can go on the support and feed website or you can go on the businesses of the support and feed uh, organization's website and you can donate money and what what will happen is the money will be donated to the restaurant keeping the restaurant in business and then the restaurant will make meals with the donated money and then feed hospitals solving the hospital um, portion of that so it's a really really great cause and I just am so proud to be my mom's son always and especially in times like these so we wanted to give our mom a platform to talk more about this yes ma'am Thank you. Come hither. Wow, you, you, you said it all so good. I don't have to say it really, but this is our oh, website. She got an iPad and everything. <laughs> so, that's an that's iPad too. <laughs> Finny has summed it up really, really well. And I want to just say that this is Earth Day. This is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. Earth's only been around for 50 yeah. years. <laughs> and, you know, Earth Day always makes me um, happy and sad at the same time. Because, <laughs> well, I love that we give one day to talking about the Earth. And, and people put so much energy into it. But it is really only one day. And we do have a climate crisis that uh, needs our immediate attention. Billy. This is what happens when you've been isolated with just a small group of people for a month. Everyone gets slap happy and crazy. But seriously, we have to take some drastic steps to address the climate issue. Scientists say that we probably have only the next 10 years to reduce our carbon emissions enough to save our planet. And one of the biggest things you can do to do that is eat a largely plant-based diet, if not an entirely plant-based diet. So what we're doing is you go to our website, supportandfeed.com. You choose any restaurant you want to contribute to, or you just make a general donation. Then the restaurants make this amazing food. It's from many of our favorite restaurants in LA. We now are also in New York. We're about to be in Philly. These incredible it's restaurants. It's, it's really amazing what she's doing. They're making this delicious food and it's then so good. we deliver it in a very coordinated effort to all these places gloves we need. and masks and very safe glass you know goggles everything. and it, it is first responders and frontline workers but it's also homeless shelters um it is women's shelters uh, we have the most amazing group of places we're donating last in the last few weeks alone since we started we've donated 3,632 meals almost 800 donuts, 2,500 cans of water, 
just in the few weeks since we've been going. That's in L.A. alone, and now we're also in New York where the need is tremendous. The amazing thing about it is you can go on our site, pick any restaurant, and we assure you the food will get there to people who are so appreciative, and these restaurants are so appreciative to be staying open and to be doing good. It's very, very rewarding to see your good works in action very, very quickly and ultimately helping the planet because it's plant-based food, which we know is an important way to eat. And also, we hear from a lot of these workers that this is the only food that's been delivered to them that they can eat because many people are vegetarians and vegans and they need this healthy food. So when you contribute to support and feed, you are helping all these small businesses support and, <laughs> support and feed all at the same time, and you're doing good for the planet at the same time. I also want to ch- shout out one more amazing business. Conscious Cleanup is an organization in L.A. They're a small business, um, helps make... Uh, parties and events greener. They pick up the unused food for an event and take it to homeless shelters. They help companies be greener. They teach everyone about recycling. Check them out. Conscious Cleanup. And during this time when they are out of work, they're volunteering for us, getting the food where it needs to go and helping us make those donations uh, a reality in L.A. We have similar people doing that in New York and Philly. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been contributing to Support and Feed. Please keep it up. This is a long-haul effort. It's not going to be an easy fix. Um, check out all of our restaurants on the website. They all need your help. And all the people on the front lines, all the shelters, all the hospital workers. We've even given food to like doctors and nurses who are finishing their late night shift and going to a hotel because they can't go home and stay with their families. And we're providing with a meal to take to their hotel because there's nothing open. I mean, that's the kind of really intimate stuff that we're doing. We're figuring out where that need is. So thank you so much for contributing to Support and Feed. Thank you guys for supporting it telling everybody about it, supporting me doing it, and all of our amazing support and feed team are all volunteers. Everyone's working so hard just because we believe in this so much. Thank you. Thank Mom's you for letting me talk. Mom's also making some of the deliveries herself, too, which I, I that just sort of speaks to who you are as a person that you're Well, that's the joyous part, trying to, walk to be honest. Walk. <clears throat> I love you guys. She always love comes home all. with, like, the big smile on her face. It's so cute. Happy Earth Day. Now I'm going to pass the proverbial microphone to Billy to talk about another small business that we do adore called the Hi-Hat. Oh, yes. The Hi-Hat is where I did my first show ever. Um, And it also, it's where we did our first um, project release party at. First EP ever. First anything ever. Um, So they're really important to us and it's in our hometown and um, they're adorable and they they sell bagels out of their window in the morning. So... (laughs) It's all gold. It's not to love. Um, Yeah, and dude, like music venues, I mean, everybody's struggling right now, but music venues, you can imagine, you know, they can't do anything. Yeah, they're a live venue. Literally can't do anything. There's no concerts. So a lot of of, of venues are are having a really rough time, as well as a lot of other people. So we wanted to... um, Bring attention to them. Bring attention to them and say what's up to them and that we're still thinking of them and love them and appreciate what they've done for me. And um, yeah. There you go. Love you, the hi hat. And um, now we're gonna sing a song. What song are we going to sing? The only song that everyone knows. The only song in the world that (laughs) everyone knows. The whole world knows this song. (laughs) Who fucking knew? Sorry. Star Spangled Banner, who? Oop. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Who you said? White shirt, no red, my bloody no sleeping. Yeah, on your tippy toes, creeping around like no one knows. Think you're so criminal. Bruises on both my knees, but you don't say thank you or please. I do what I want when I'm on. To my soul, so 
so cynical So you're a tough guy Like a really rough guy Just can't get enough guy Chest always so puffed guy I'm that bad type Make your mama sad type Make your girlfriend mad type I seduce your dad type I'm the bad guy da 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 ba ba da 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 Take control even if you know that you don't own me I'll let you play the role, I'll be your animal My mommy likes to sing along with me But she won't sing the song if she reads all the lyrics She'll pity the man I know So you're a tough guy, like a really rough guy Just can't get enough guy, chest always so puffed guy I'm that bad type, make your mama sad type Make your girlfriend mad type, I said who's your dad type I'm the bad guy da 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 ba ba da 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 ba ba da da Yep. <laughs> M M M M M M, and then we got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do one. We more. got Phineas's, and he's just doing one more, and then I'll do one more after that. Yes. Should I just stay here? Yeah. Do you want to sing harmonies? I just stay here. Sure. You know that. If I can figure them out. We're, Billy is gonna do improv. Look what Phineas has. <laughs> Oh, this is a... <laughs> I've been playing... Ah! <laughs> these are my Taylor Swift yes! lover guitar picks. Taylor Swift's dad gave these to me backstage <laughs> one time. Um, he was an incredibly nice man. And I walked in and shook his hand. And in his hand, he had guitar picks for me. <laughs> yeah. And I said, hi, it's nice to meet you. And he said, uh, do you have any real estate um, outside of the state of California? And <laughs> he was an incredibly nice guy. And this song is called Break My Heart Again. I'm just now leaving Can I come around later on this evening? Or do you need time? Yes, of course, that's fine Hey, you Good morning I'm sure you're now, why else would you ignore me? Or do you need space? You can't help it if your mind has changed. So go ahead and break my heart again. Leave me wondering why. Break the 
them twice Thanks, Bill. I'd be knowing all the details. What's next? Remind viewers <laughs> <laughs> to support small businesses by ordering to go, buying gift cards, and tipping for paying them online through PayPal. Obviously, everybody should be doing that. I know that a lot of you are struggling yourselves, and it can feel like a really crazy time to think about others. But I think so thinking true. about others and empathy is the thing that makes everybody actually feel better. And I think thinking about how you're going to go on and how you're going to make ends meet is obviously a survival instinct, and it's necessary, for sure. But once you figure those things out, helping other people that are hurting right now is so, so, so important, and it's just going to make you feel better. Visit verizon.com slash payitforwardlive for more ways to help, like buying a digital gift card to a local business in your zip code. You can check out our favorite small businesses here. So Revolution Dance Center, The Hi Hat, Yoga Ert, Plant Food for People, Support and Feed, obviously. You can find all of those businesses uh. right here. We want to thank Verizon and the viewers for tuning in to support small businesses. And a happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day, everybody. My mom <laughs> said earlier that um, she reminded me that, <coughs> that um, climate activists... Billy... I don't have it. <laughs> I coughed. Sorry. <laughs> I don't have it. <laughs> um, my mom reminded us earlier in this telecast that um, <laughs> climate uh, scientists believe that we have 10 years of, of life left, of going about Unreal. it the normal way. If we Unreal. don't. 10 years to reduce our, our carbon emissions before everything goes before to. It's too late. Before it's too late. And that super scared me. Um, <laughs> and it's all I've been thinking about the yeah. entire rest of this live stream. So. For the love of God, if, <laughs> if you thought, like maybe I did in my infancy, that the adults would figure it all out and they would come to the rescue, this coronavirus pandemic should serve to you as the proof that the adults don't know what they're doing at all. So please, please, please take it upon yourself to lower your own carbon footprint and to help out the planet because it's the only one you know how to live on. It's also not that hard. It's really not that hard. For real. Stop using straws. Like, what? what's so hard about that? For real. Stop Don't driving. use plastic. Huh? Stop driving. Stop flying. Well, <laughs> I know. That's the problem. Is I, I know that we literally do things in our lives. I, I have a car. You know? I drive. It's a problem. I have a plane. <laughs> I don't have a plane. But I know it's hard, but if there's anything you can do, please do it. If you can change anything about yourself, change it. It's also 2020, which means if you live in the United States of America, you can go out and vote. And that counts for something. Here we go. Everything I wanted. <laughs> I had a dream. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
For the love of God, stay at home and don't go in out. Don't go out and see people. Celebrate Earth Day. Take care of the Earth. We live on it. If it dies, we die. Um, you can and... visit EarthDay.org to watch Earth Day 2020 live <laughs> right now. Take action. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you, um, Earth, for Earth letting thing. us breathe. Yeah. Stay inside. Six feet away from people. Good? Now what? Oh, okay.